Kill now. <coughs> and <Nope>. now. <laughs> now. <laughs> what about and let's two, go now? And let's... now. Now. Oh, wow, I got it. Oh, man. Look at oh. that. Oh, is it there man you yo Hi, it's everyone. it's literally if you really think about it uh it is literally a a a feat of epic proportions that we do what we do and are able to get this broadcast to you each day and every week it's I mean, it is pretty amazing think about what has to happen there's so many levels to it ebro there's so many levels not to mention people don't even know what the hell's going on behind the scenes no, I was thinking what, out. We need to really about. do. We need to do a better job, particularly me and Laura, because Ebro's IG is he's he's got a nice big following. We need to Laura make sure we plug our socials because one day when we're not on the air anymore, when people just turn on the radio and we're not there, they need to be able to find us. Now, they'll, as long as they can find Ebro, he could tell them wherever we are next. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I we got to be able to tell them where to go next. <laughs> like so that day when it, they just show up and they're like, they turn it on, it's just music playing, and then they hear a random break from. From Bobby Trends, or what happened to the morning show? We need to, they need to have the information. So let me ask you this: Do you think we can get ten thousand people to spend one dollar a month? Ten thousand people to listen to our show. I think you'd be better. Uh, let me. I, I thought this is stuff I think about. You ask things I think about. This is stuff <laughs> I think about. No, right. I think okay. that we can definitely get. Uh, I think we can definitely get. 3,000 people to spend $10, three to $5 a month. Okay. Maybe even more than that, you know, depending what tiers you have. I mean, like, put it this way. Well, let's just talk brass tax. Let's do it. What does that actually mean? Because I've heard I don't know, yeah. but it I mean, means let's get serious. Brass all right. tax? Because never why, First of all, why would you tax brass? It's trash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's yes. talk turkey. G Com <laughs> says he will pay $1. Okay. Thanks, G Com. <laughs> So <laughs> uh, my inconsistent once a week, we stop, we start, we do whatever one at podcast has close to a thousand people who pay every month. Okay. How much do they now, pay? Well, because Let's get in the pockets, a, because we're an absolute mess, we have three different tiers that all give you the same thing. So <laughs> if you're Yo. smart, you probably pay the five dollar one, but you could pay up to ten dollars. Most it. people pay seven fifty. All right. Now for okay. that, they're getting a total of four extra shows of a month. That's it. They get four free shows and four extra shows. Now, is there a ver- is there a world? This um, is real talk. Is there a world where, as a part of your subscription, I we can get you like merch, like yes, qu- like quarterly merch. Like you'll sure. get the new tees. Sure. You'll get oh, the new cute. hoodies. Like we could have like a whole thing. Well, that, what you would do, what you would probably want to do in that case would be a top tier, where people who pay the most, they're willing. Here's what I would do if we're if we're gonna fantasy fantasy book this whole thing. Okay. Yeah. I would say we do the radio <laughs> show every day. We yeah. continue what we do. Okay. Right. It comes out in podcast form every day at nine a.m. Whatever it is, it drops. Okay. okay. Um, you have a free tier for that in which people get. An hour every day. Okay. If you pay the $4 a month, whatever the number is you come up with, they get a second hour every day. That is that is every day. There's a, a It's really a two-hour show. For free, you get one. You pay, you get both. Okay. And then I think you add another tier on top of that where you get things like maybe events, merch, things like that. But I think in this case where it's a show that people listen to every day, like we're a part of their lives – that's actually worth five, seven, ten dollars a month to get a two hour show every single day for your commute. That, that's not a lot to give. Right, right, right. That's what is that? Let me help help me with the math, guys. How many cents is that a day? That's not a lot of money. Well, yeah, no, it's not a lot of money. It's a and and most people, most people now there's a lot of subscriptions out there. You know, if you're talking anything under five dollars, they're not really tripping. Because people yeah, have see, a lot everyone's of everyone's like, I'll do three dollars. They say the cheaper, uh, better to attract the masses. Well, thank you. Well, we're, we're well, aware and, that- and, and, so let's talk about the masses. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad somebody, whoever said that, I'm glad you said that. Wait, somebody really quick. I'm just reading through the comments. Somebody said, uh, if I pay $3, Peter got to be there on time and never be late. There you go. <laughs> no, no, no problem. Because guess what? The show won't start at six anymore. <laughs> it'll start at nine. Problem solved. <laughs> I'll be there with bells on, bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> Call Fixed Douglas. It. Fixed it. Subscribe below. Done. Um, no, so let's talk about mass. 
<clears throat> um, I don't really give a fuck about masks. That's a problem I have. Well, that's that's not necessarily a problem. I don't give a fuck about everybody. I don't give a fuck about trying to please, you know what I'm saying, and be everywhere all the time. But that is that going to be a problem for our network? No, that's the I I I think I that's think the so. beauty of it is that we we get to be more niche. We get to do a show for our people, talk about what we want. And I think it's not as niche as you think. Like I think we're lowballing what the numbers could be. I think the free listeners, Ebro, we would have would already be big. The free listeners, we would do quite well. It's just about how many people are willing to spend money. And then, by the way, remember, you run advertising then against the free numbers that you have. Mm. So I have a question. Go yeah, ahead. So good. So but... I know, but it's hard. If, you have to do if, it. If, 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 what about this model? What if, uh, if we would charge less? To get more subscribers, so like let's say somebody pays a dollar, but in, you know people would much rather pay a dollar than pay five. So then you have people instead of getting five thousand people paying three dollars, you get ten thousand people paying one. That was see, the initial I, question. See, but I'd rather have, oh. but that, but that was the initial question. Sorry, I'm just I to let y'all know how I work. I would rather have a hundred people paying a thousand dollars than. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that, that's I, true. I just I don't I don't. I'm not interested in a hundred thousand people trying, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if, if it works out that way, that's cool. But real talk, I want people that are like, you know, that get it. Core which followers. is why look and, right. and this, which is why we don't do certain interviews. Like there's people who are like really, you know, would be great and they would go viral and all that, but you're a fucking jerk off and I don't like you. And I'm not going to sit down here and act like I want to talk to you about the shit that is going, you're going viral about. Like, so there's certain interviews we just don't do because I'll be like, fuck that person. Except Risa Tisa. I want to talk to her. Well, no, oh, yeah. Risa Tisa seems no like a nice Risa Tisa. Why, why are you bringing Risa Tisa into this? <laughs> you said people that are viral. No, there's <laughs> idiots I'll definitely interview who just seem interesting. <laughs> right. But then there's assholes <laughs> that it's like, yo, bro, I'd rather kick you in your back. Yes. And yes. punch you no, in the right. face than I would. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to sit down and talk to you. I get requests. People trying to come on our show. They're like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'd rather yeah. just talk to you guys. Right. Yo, yeah, I, and then also, too, for the audience, the funniest thing is we're planning a new business endeavor across a company's YouTube page right now. <laughs> 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 well, listen, hopefully it, this never happens. But we live in a world in which these things are all on the table and all of us are young and enjoy working together. So we got to know yeah. what we would like to do. So what do you mean just, by young we're just, exactly? We're just what, talking you guys. You mean not as old as Michael K and Don LaGreca? Is that what you mean? Yeah, definitely <laughs> not as old as Michael K and Don LaGreca. Um, Somebody but, asked, are y'all millionaires? No. What? No. I mean, there's a few. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not a millionaire. Well, I'll, I'll, no, can, we, can we ask a better question? Are y'all millionaires from Hot 97? Everyone can answer the same way. Yeah, no. 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 But it's right. provided great opportunity. Amazing opportunity, yeah. and it, it, and and it should be noted that unlike other companies, one of the reasons I I can speak for myself have stayed here so long is because they don't stand in the way of other opportunities. Absolutely, and no. For them, right. the, the real they've been a it's been a wonderful place to work that's opened a million doors, and that that logo, as we've always said, does a lot, a lot. True. And the thing is, on this show, we care about that logo. We want the logo to be healthy and be good. We think that we do a show that helps make the logo better and mean something. But you also have to always be looking out for your logo and making well, sure not that, only that we don't own the logo. So whoever, and we don't own that logo. And we don't own the logo. So whenever they decide to sell it, get rid of us, cancel the contract, pay us out, whatever the scenario is, you're going to have to figure out how you're going to pay your bills after that. Right. Exactly. Now, Ebro, if you could mingle with your rich friends, Come up with maybe 110 million. <laughs> we could buy it. We could buy that and WBLS. You know, we're mm. in business. Yeah, the, the problem with purchasing a radio station right now. Oh, man. Is that it's a radio station? Is that it's a radio station. Right. <laughs> and you have to have other things to sell with it. And you're competing against the behemoth, which is iHeart. So a lot of the audience may not know. For many, many years, I railed against Clear Channel, which then became iHeart because I felt like it was a plantation that was devaluing black media and 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 bundling it with 
the soccer mom stations and the at work stations and these, you know, the light FMs and the Z 100s where they're getting and, and the advertisers paying top dollar for it. But then when it came to hip hop or black content, they were getting it on the cheap, even they, though they the, were like tossing, they would be like, Hey, if you spend X amount on Z 100, we'll throw you power one Oh five. Also. Right. Right. And I have a problem with that because <laughs> yes, Z 100 has probably a larger base right light fm has a larger number but engagement the level of engagement that you get from hip-hop audiences and black audiences and uh hispanic audiences is double that because hip black audiences hip-hop audience hispanic audiences they don't a don't have as many outlets to go hear their content and b they are hyper passionate about hearing their own voices and representation. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things about the Hispanic community and the black community in America specifically, because you're not seeing yourselves on TV. So the radio was always a place where you got to hear what's going on in the community. You got to hear the music. You got to hear what the conversation was for the day. And now that happens on, you know, on the Internet. So that's also devalued radio. So it's tough to buy radio right now or buy radio groups without having, you know, a digital network to go along with it, podcasts to go along with it. You got to have radio. You got to have events. You got to have this whole kind of bundle of media and content to leverage. And then you still have to be able to have uh, get on the uh, get on the uh, advertising buys. So if you see a lot of if you see a lot of black media, hip hop media going away, look no further than the advertising community that devalues our content and our engagement. And it's always <laughs> been that way, by the way. Yeah. And, and also it's, and also remember, iHeart's a different kind of animal. Like they, they have so many stations. You know what I mean? That there were, there were a lot of morning shows that were in, that were local that are no longer local because, and I'm not, I'm not knocking the breakfast club for this. They obviously would take the stations you get offered, but, they were just said, you know, instead of running this local morning show, we have this popular national morning show. We're just going to boom, drop that in blank market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they just cook. That's, that's a lot of jobs out there. Yeah. Cookie. A lot of people getting laid off right now. How many people yeah. just got laid off at Complex? I don't know bro. if they know. Do they know the number? No, no. I, I haven't heard the exact number, but a lot. Basically, a lot that deal was. A lot of journalists are losing their jobs. Network mm. bought everything at Complex except First We Feast. That was not in the deal. You know that that was not in the deal. Yeah, they didn't buy that, so they kept Buzzfeed kept Buzz Buzzfeed kept Hot their ones? white property. Hot Ones is First We Feast. Oh, that was too much for the deal. So that now that First We Feast IP and all the Hot Ones things and the you know things within that. That's worth more money, and that they kept that for now. I'm, I'm guessing, Ebro. My guess would be someone else will buy that, but well, no, it, it wasn't part I, well, of that. Well, Buzzfeed, remember, Buzzfeed didn't go away. Buzzfeed got rid of Complex and basically their hip hop stuff, so they could get their books right and stop losing money. So first, we feast. They probably are saying, "Hey, we can take this mainstream, uh, you know, more." Uh, uh, popular marketed white marketed kind of content and leverage it against our other content and it makes sense they right they probably you know and, and you think think of the hip-hop content that's making money out here right now what is it <clears throat> what is it where is well, it with what content yeah what yeah. what what where where is, where is the engagement going it's at podcasts right it's at joe budden it's at you know uh academics it's at um well, ma many people on on twitch and tiktok and things like that right it's 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 fractured right because everybody's got a podcast everybody's got a thing so it's all over the place so you got a lot of different things with everybody making a little bit of money and so for a big car for a big company that doesn't make sense yeah yeah it's scary times guys it is a little bit scary it, it's even it's even affecting the music I keep telling people, people are spending more time listening to podcasts, talk mm -hmm. about music than they're actually listening to the music. So guess what? The music isn't getting streamed. So it's not becoming hits aren't happening as frequently in rap all of a sudden. 
and your favorite podcast can't really play the music. Right. Which is a weird thing. I'm surprised they haven't been able to figure out how to allow podcasts to play music. No, it's a licensing thing. So the label, like the labels and the publishers. But why can't, if the music's available on Spotify, why can't Joe Budden or whoever it is who has a podcast on Spotify play the music that's available on Spotify? Because Spotify would have to then fork over another license fee to the labels and the publishers for that on-demand type of listening. And I guess people are already unhappy with what they get from streaming. Who would you say? Who? What labels? Artists are or? not artists, and or labels are not happy with the amount that they get for streams in general. Well, I think you got to look at it the other way. Yeah. Well, yes, you're what you're saying. They'll, the, yes, they want more money, but then you also have the the truth of the matter is when you look at streaming as a business model. It's not a real lucrative business model. The, the, the streaming providers, I think, pay 80%. So the s- subscription you pay, I think 80% of that goes to the publishers and the record labels. Yeah, so, you know what's crazy? Spotify has 226 million premium subscribers. Mm-hmm. What is that, like 15 a month? I don't know. Let's let's call it 10, on which it's more than that. Mm-hmm. You're telling me that the, the, the $26 billion, my, my calculator won't give me the number. It's too big. Th- that's not enough for them to make any money and, and for artists to make money? Isn't that crazy? Well, it depends on how they're running their business. So 80% of that's supposed to go to the, or I think it's 80. I don't even so is, is when when it says that when there's an e in the number does that mean billion? It means e. error. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it means. <laughs> when it says this, when it says that, what's that? Two point two six billion? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's a big number. Once you see that, once it's Shawnee, when you start seeing letters, you know that's a lot of money. It's different. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here I'm looking right now. <laughs> Let me see. Um, it doesn't give you an exact. How much does Spotify pay the labels? So uh, I'm told. That so here it goes. Have, it uh, works out approximately zeros. revenue split is 70-30. So it's 70% of the money Spotify makes goes to the labels and publishers and rights and all that stuff. So it's 30% left for them to run the actual business and make a profit. Hmm. So they don't want to have to then pay another fee on top of what are they're already paying to clear that to use it in podcasts right it's already which i read i read an article that speculated that that's why spotify uh spotify went so hard creating spot uh podcast and creating their podcast kind of uh offering right. is because it was the only content that they could have that they could just pay a flat fee for to the content creator and they didn't have to fork over a majority of the money to um labels and rights holders and they could sell advertising against it and that's how they're actually make trying to make a profit makes sense you are the only mm-hmm. people who have really done well because of streaming technology uh like artists on the lower and middle class level like entry level artists that's who really does well because of this well yeah relatively well right indie indie labels have done really well so I'm you had people who just couldn't reach people before who are now able to reach people and build something yeah, and build their following and build a community and build a business that's, you know, a decent Otherwise, business. Otherwise, you would have just been nothing. You would have just not been able to make it, probably. You yeah, you would. And there's a lot of, and, and you know, but, you know, remember, labels are publicly traded. So the 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 revenue they have to deliver, Spotify is publicly traded. They got to figure out ways every quarter to make incrementally more dollars, whether that's laying people off, uh, starting a new business of some sort that they're going to, you know, make some money on or something. But, you know, if the labels and the rights holders keep asking for more money, it cuts into their profit. Uh, let's see. There's some comments here, guys. Um, Tyler says, Ebro, Somebody I've been want- calling every day and I never get selected. I feel some type of way. Talk to producer Somebody Griff. Said, I don't answer. There's the only two days of uh, Black History Month left. Where's Shawnee? Oh, Shawnee no, just came back from va- vacation and hasn't even asked it or, or brought a black fact. <laughs> Shawnee, it's what's not man? vacation. 
it just happens to be work in amazing, beautiful places with umbrella drinks oh. and palm trees. Yeah, but what does that have to do with the fact <laughs> right. that you didn't even have a black fag ready for this? Yeah, come on. What is the black fag? I just got off the plane. I just woke up. I they didn't don't even have, sleep. A, and that's a black fag. And, and that's, that's a black, black fact. Oh my god! Look, Shai. I got you tomorrow, my G or my lady, whichever one you are. I got you. I got maybe you. Maybe it's neither. Maybe it's maybe that. it's neither. Why I, are you starting, Ibra? <laughs> right, I got y'all tomorrow. <laughs> I got y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's but, the only comment we got. I see bricks said buying a radio station in 2024 is like buying a fax machine <laughs> in 2020, 2010. No, sir. Buying a radio station in 2024 is like buying a fax machine in 2024. Yeah, it's always <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yo, did Biden really come out with sneakers too? No. Or was that just some Sneaker internet thing? You got to stop just, no, for every Shawnee random. got got by the internet. Oh, all of them. Oh, LLJ, cool. Yeah. I'm not oh. say, It was a question. Because I but saw. Let me ask you this, Shawnee. In your brain. Some sneakers. In, in your brain. It like se seriously in your brain. And right. I'm only I'm only talking about in your brain. In my brain. Your brain your says brain. to you mm -hmm. that someone like Biden, after Donald Trump dropped a sneaker that was trash, mm -hmm. that Biden would also go, you know what? Great idea. And then get I'm some gonna trash do that shoes. Too. <laughs> get some tra it didn't seem that way, but because the whole thing never because ceased to you've amaze been confused me. Confused by the chaos and confusion of I'm the like, internet I'm for like, so long. who knows what these dudes are doing? You know what I'm saying? So it was just a question. Yeah, not not once did I think that that was real. Did you see them? No. The track shoes. I did not see them. No. I think I saw a glimpse. But I, I did see somebody tweet something about that, and I was like, of course he did. See, this is what we have to deal with, guys. We have to deal with a lot of a lot of fake information. Uh oh, I hear someone. What's, what's happening over there? I don't know. I just heard it's people yelling. Yeah, it's just people. Yelling. I sound like DJ John yelling. It's well, anyway, ghetto. this has been the uh, Ebro Lauren Rosenberg program after the program show. Or no, what's the title? Yeah, this is this after is sad show, though. By the show, way, show. we go live after the live live program show. There it is. We go by the live. Way, I, I after think we have to. Live. I think we better just stick to radio, guys, because our poll only it got two hundred fifty votes. Would you pay a dollar a month for Ebro in the morning? And uh, sixty four percent said yes. So that, go, that's pretty good. Actually, I guess you're right. If you make that a bigger number, that's not bad. Yeah. If you look at that as a as a poll. But I don't really I, I think <sighs> because so because we do morning drive radio, we approach morning drive radio about the hot topics of the day and getting mm -hmm. people from point A to point B with a smile on their face, making them think about something, laugh about something, feel something. That's right. Right. I don't know if we are uh, offering people enough for them to pay other than our friendship and camaraderie. Like, <laughs> are we offering them something they can't get anywhere else? Well, yes. 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 yes right. it, is, it is a specific. <laughs> it is a very we we really do exist in a very specific space on this show. I mean, it is a very the, the different boxes we check. I think we are the only place that checks those boxes. But do people care enough? Right, but the, but the, does it have the 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 sexy gr like is someone gonna have a meltdown and and start a beef and and scream at someone and see, yeah, I, see, I personally think we're too logical for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know that that part. We're not illogical and crazy enough to just let somebody like for instance, we would never let somebody come up here and literally hang themselves out to dry. Mm. Right. No, and like ruin and there's themselves. been instances where we've been like, we're just not going to put that out because we don't want to be responsible for that. So you're saying if we started an OnlyFans, nobody would want to pay to see yeah, us? Yeah, it's not sexy. It's not a sexy OnlyFans. It'd be like a boring OnlyFans? That's right. And that people wouldn't want to... Now, I, I can tell you guys what would, I think people would tune into. Uh, Rosenberg live watching Drake pull his junk out and fixating on the size. I mean, I'm, I'm just being, I'm just, cause I'm, I'm the only honest person left in media. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm the only honest person left. Everyone else goes, yo, when Ebro, when you posted the video yesterday on your Instagram of me and Drewski discussing, discussing the song, most people disgusting. in your comments were laughing. Right. But there were a handful of people like, nah, this the yep, problem. Yep. This the problem. Yeah. Like, what, bruh. It's funny, man. What are you? I did see a couple of think pieces in there. I was like, all right, guys. Wait, what were the think pieces? I don't remember, but it was definitely like some people wrote some paragraphs. And I was like, I just saw the paragraphs. 
and they weren't with it? laughing emojis. I was like, okay, you need to calm down. I didn't read it. Uh, I gotta go look. Hold on, I gotta look at Ebro's comments. That's funny. Somebody called us the DEI show. <laughs> <laughs> the, the DEI show? Yeah. Diversity uh, and inclusion show. By the way, I mean, that is us. Yeah. It's a great I point. think we should run I mean, with that. We, it's the DEI show. I'm gonna say that are, tomorrow morning. That's what we're all about. Yo, True. We're literally the only morning show that's that's multicultural. You know, I think in the country, right? Yes. Well, there'll be Who versions. Else has a black Jew, a Jew, a Guatemalan, a Dominican, a Trinidad slash Jamaican, and a Mexican. <laughs> Yo, well, a Trinidad right. slash Jamaican Rastafari. <laughs> right. Yeah. Don't leave out Rasta. Rastafari. And, 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 and on the production and, side, a black Belizean a, and a Puerto Rican. <laughs> no, it's crazy. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is one of the things that makes it that, that's what I'm saying, though. That's what is what makes the show special. We have so many people who are so different. And we and we play the same role in the life of all those people who are so different. That's pretty cool. Uh, how but is this? it enough for somebody to spend fifty cents a month? Probably not. Um, <laughs> how do we go down to fifty cents a month? Well, because I feel like I got to keep dropping the price because I'm still <laughs> not convinced we got what it takes. Oh, here we go, Ebro. This is a woman. It looks we like there's a woman. Forty cents. <laughs> I'm surprised. This is a woman who made this comment on your page. It looks like what she said. Okay. Two men discussing another man's meat is wild. It's one thing to be secure in your masculinity, but this is a no. <laughs> Too far. See, yeah, that's, that's think piece. Yo, Why you went full on, think piece? Man. Yeah, I um, Too far. How about this? It's a response. Here's a thing. Here's a think, here's a think piece response. Huh. That is an oxymoron. <laughs> Men that are secure in their masculinity and sexuality can talk about anything because it doesn't affect them. So what you just posted is an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> People go in, bro. Yeah, you shouldn't be talking about other people's schlongs, man. Why? But you put but the why, schlong though? out. But what why? do you mean why? So like, for yeah. instance, I didn't parts. actually watch the Drake video, but I definitely had a conversation with my lady about the Drake video. I asked her if she watched it. She said no. She didn't watch it because her girlfriend watched it and described the whole thing to her, so she didn't really feel the need to go look at it herself. But I, I oh, called I her a liar. I was like, you. you're a liar. You went and looked. Yeah, you got a liar. Yeah, <laughs> and you at least wanted to. If you Or you just, no, no, you know what? You're curious. You know, she tried, but it it had come down by then, and it took kind of work to do it. So she gave up. That's she what gave happened. Up. That's what happened. <laughs> but um, but I guess my man. thing was I had heard enough about it that I didn't feel like I needed to go grade it myself. It's just a dick, bro. Yeah. Hey, you know, nobody... By the way, you know how many dicks I've seen watching porn. Yo, that's the yo. But isn't it facts? Doesn't it feel different when it's somebody that you feel more connected to? Like I don't music. feel more con- why because I know him. No, I know you Mr. Talk Marcus to him, too. He's mute. Yeah. I just wanted to see if it was Not really him. Way. Yo, I watched him fuck mad chick. What did you say, Laura? I just wanted to see if it was really him. Because, you know, he's I'm sometimes sure he's you say, Laura, you don't have to this explain. Video, you, went, you wanted to see some dick. Laura wanted to see. <laughs> Someone to said this was, this was funny and weird at the same time. Like, why are you discussing another man's meat and cracking jokes? <laughs> I, do you know what jokes are? Because of the jokes part. That's what we... <laughs> Drewski's a comedian. We were cracking jokes. Oh, God. Yo, listen, man. People really don't get it, man. I just, when it comes to, here's my thing. When it comes to anatomy, whether it's female or male, I guess my 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 mind always goes to the place where it's like, everybody got something, some is, looks different than others. Bigger, smaller, wrinklier, whatever. Yeah, but nah, 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 listen. Drake being the character that no 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 is... I mean I mean it's not a big deal to look at someone else's job. Oh oh, oh like what is it exactly? It's a nothing. It's literally nothing to me. It's nothing. But I then don't to understand. hold a town hall about it after what town a town hall? hall. It, isn't that a See, bit much? Yeah, yo, you're Wait, like you know you're saying? Pieces yo, he's in the comments. A no, town <laughs> hall. <laughs> no, because if you say all right, Johnny, is it you in the comments? Checking, it's not Johnny, me. Yo, you on your burner account in the comments, bro? If you're saying looking at other people's anatomy is natural, okay. No, I'm not saying looking. A at town it hall is discussion. I'm saying no, no, no. I'm what not saying hall? looking at it is natural, even though it is. <laughs> I'm saying it doesn't, to me, hit my brain like either a I need to see it to grade it and have an opinion on it, That's what it or b like. being offended that someone else looked at it and wants to crack <laughs> jokes. Like it, none of it registers any either relevance way. to me. It, it felt like Rosenberg <laughs> wanted to discuss the behavior. No, because <laughs> yo. I could go find the audio where Rosenberg was talking about uh, being in love with my, uh, was it Michael Vick? Was it, was what, like what? the first time? Michael Remember the whole Vick. Mike Vick jokes back in the day? No, I definitely was. I was never in love with Michael Vick. What? No, not Michael. It was, yeah, it was Michael Vick. 
No. What? Is he the one who hurt really? dogs? Yeah, but this yeah. is before all that, Laura. Well, what did I say about Michael Vick if, if, in your made-up version? No, I don't but remember. You love Hancock. But I, <laughs> I love Hancock. <laughs> yes. Yo, there's <laughs> literally there's but, little, but, two but things. anyway, Rosenberg has always done the like talk, and he gets a reaction from it. So the reason he runs the joke all the time, whether it's whether it's uh home, what was it, homoerotic raps? Yeah. yeah. Or or uh, remember the homoerotic <laughs> yeah. raps? He it's will a, discuss a somebody's song. It's a risk. Li- Here, let me explain why. So it's a funny. riskless joke for me. There's no the idea of having fun talking about some dude schlong. It, it's funny because people get so tight. Yeah. And, and meanwhile, I'm yeah. like, you could call me gay literally forever. It means nothing. If I was gay, I'd be the most dick sucking as dude. Hey, you know, hey, whoa, and whoa. guess what? I could <laughs> say it and it still doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't. Yo, we need Can separate, we isolate we need that? separate drops for this. Nah, for nah, this. You, nah, no mean, drops from I, the live. I, I'd yeah. be this dick sucking this person. No, you no, know. drops from the live is a violation. That bro, needs you know to that. be isolated with you and your Shiny pink shirt. The get, get the pink shirt. Oh, yeah. Shirt. Oh, Nothing oh, gayer oh, than this shirt. shirt. Oh. Nothing gayer than this shirt. <laughs> I, I mean, who am I? What's wrong with me? Why would I? Why would I want to wear this? I love that shirt, like, Rosenberg. Thank you. By the way, it's real. That they actually had a pink shirt from back then. Crazy, right? But what? I just have never understood why people trip about it. So I always push the button. Well, and you in know the case why. of someone it's, it's like Drake, homophobia, bro. yeah, you know why? You know why? It's homophobia. Well, well. So then, so then I'm intentionally pushing the button. Yes, exactly. And then also, Drake is one of the biggest stars in the world. And he pulled if, his dick out on the internet. Yo, if he ran, oh, that's why it's a big deal. Come Can we on. confirmed? Is it deep fake or is it? We really? don't know. And and Shawnee, that's the part. And then and there's another funny it. level to what if it is a deep fake and what if Drake yeah. leaked it? There's because, so much yeah. there. It's very right with stories. There's a lot there. It like doesn't show his face or something, right? So no, funny. you. you I mean, it doesn't of- matter. He's trying to, and these days right, they're putting right. out full sex tapes of people that look completely real and they're not it's not remotely them. Yeah, yeah. It's not them. That's true. So it might be a deep fake. And by the way, wouldn't it be very drizzy to if it happened, just laugh about it and be like, ha, who knows? Every time. <laughs> and this so is the live live after Instagram the live. headline. Imagine if you saw a deep fake, you would really think it's them. I'm I mean, gonna put one out like this. I need someone to make one like me having a, a sex tape like this. Oh listen, my I God. listen. My career was made when people thought I had sex with Nicki Minaj. Oh God! I was made. I was a made man. That's it. You was Gucci. Really what? It was, put, it was put on record. My oh. old, my old hairy ass was in, Nicki Minaj was interested in my old hairy ass. I was. I, psh, and by the I way, mean. I mean, and there are some people who still believe that it's true. Facts. I mean, some of them, some of them are sitting right here in this room right now, <laughs> doing this show with you, yeah. <laughs> talking on this same microphone in my house. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, yes. Wow. Wait. Yo, you really believe it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Wow. Well, and, and by the way, not, not that I do, but it's not that I don't. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh, so you don't it, think it's it impossible? Impossible. The timing of it was was uh interesting too. Well, no, she, Shani, everything that Shani, the come timing on. of it. He's not we, talking we, about the timing of it. He's talking about my my abilities at a certain point in my life to close. Not the even deal. that. Not yes, somewhat that, but more. It's even situational, right? Like people, you have real personal relationships with people. You know what I mean? You and Nikki definitely have a weird thing. Oh There's yeah, no, we thing. definitely yeah. No, she's we, always talking about you. Yo, she literally. I I just said ninety different things about her. She literally ignored me like I didn't exist and just talked straight to Ebro like I'm not even a human being. So <laughs> there's something yeah. there. And by the way, and obviously she funny. remembers me. My my shit is built into her career, and she just mm. ignores me 100. percent There's something there with Ebro and her. You know what I'm right. saying? So it was realistic at the time. Why'd Remy say it? Why is she make it up out right. of nowhere? Yeah, I mean. Why would Remy lie? Was it out of nowhere? Was it out of nowhere? Was yeah, it? she had no reason to lie. <laughs> oh, except for the whole diss record that she was putting out. But still, I mean, but you get still. the idea. <laughs> this has been a yeah. good after the show, post show show. You like this? Wow. No, I thought it was the We Go Live after the live. Yeah. Program show. Live. But it's been good. That's what I'm saying. People got a lot here today. That is. Would you, now, the question that, is, uh, would you pay a dollar for it? Yeah, no, nah, they don't like it that much. So. <laughs> We're down to 30 cents, Ebro. 30 cents. We're down to 30 We're cents. We're down to 30 cents. <laughs> 30 cents. Yes. Yo, 30 cents a month, a penny a day. This is like a Sorry. Sally Struthers commercial. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> cheaper than a cup of coffee. Cheaper than Somebody a cup of coffee. Somebody said we're the corniest people on radio. 
Oh, oh, well, thanks for tuning in. Oh, Yo, of all time, not even right now. They said all time. <laughs> Yo, Yo, listen, okay. but the all fact that they, the oh, fact okay. that someone cool. tuned in to say that right. says how much right. we mean right. in their life. Right. <laughs> or, or you literally have no life. Yo, Cor- Corgi the first said Rosenberg's gonna get a call from Diddy to go shopping. He needs to chill. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, chill. It is time to go. All That's right, it. Guys. All right, we out. Oh, See y'all man. next week. Fine. My lord, I'll be the most dick sucking.